So what is the relationship between this EMF terminal potential and internal resistance of a, of, of a, of a cell? So let us consider a cell. Cell basically means a battery like this. Every battery has a positive terminal and this side is a positive terminal and negative terminal. Suppose I connect the cell to an external wire like this. See, you always connect, have to connect a resistance across, across the wire, otherwise it will get short circuit. But for simplicity, I'm just drawing a wire like this in order to understand the concept. Suppose there is a charge in here, let's say a positive charge, let's call that charge as Q. So what will happen to this charge is, this charge will get crippled by this positive terminal of the battery and it will move away from the positive terminal and it will circulate through the circuit, through this wire and ultimately reach this point plus this negative side of the cell. So Q is now here. Now in order to move a positive charge from the positive side of the battery to the negative side, you don't have to do any work because it will naturally happen. All positive charge move from positive to the negative side. Now what if, what if you have to move this positive charge Q from the negative side to the positive side of the cell. For that, you have to do some work because no charge, no positive charge will move towards the positive charge naturally. You have to do some work. So that is what we call the electromotive force. Actually, it is read as electromotive force, but it is not a force, it is potential. So suppose you have a cell and it, its rated voltage is 9 volt. This 9 volt is the every, every cell has a rated voltage. This voltage is the EMF. So what basically this means is for one coulomb of charge, it can provide 9 joules of work or 9 joules of energy that 9 joule per 9 joule per coulomb is called the 9 volt so the work done by the cell so work done by the cell let's say w is equal to you know emf that is the pot the maximum potential that the cell can provide into charge q because potential is always potential will be work done divided by charge so work will be potential into charge so here emf into charge let me erase this so a battery can provide a maximum energy work basically means energy this work is converted into energy so work done basically means energy so a cell can provide a maximum energy of eq so this is the work done to move this positive charge from the negative side to positive side but our question is whether all of this work is con is used to, to move this charge from the let's say this point b a with this point b b all of this work is transferred to move the charge from b to a definitely not because there are certain particles inside the cell. Every cell has certain particles inside it. So this charge has to overcome the resistance offered by these particles. So the net to work done, let's say W dash, will be always less than this work. Work done W minus some energy loss. Energy loss. Energy loss due to the opposition of this particle. So this work and anyway you know work is equal to potential into charge. So W dash will be V into Q is equal to here it is uh, E into Q minus energy loss. See what basically these materials do is they offer a resistor. Resistor. Resistance to the flow of this charge. So energy is dissipated in the form of heat. Suppose let's say R is the resistance of per R. Then the according to joules heat, 
Joule's heating effect, the energy loss will be heat lost H is equal to I square R into T. I is the current flowing through the circuit, R is the resistance offered, and P is the time. So we can say that I square R T. Now, if you let's call this as equation number one. So if you divide the equation one with T, what you get is with the time V Q by T is equal to E Q by T minus I square R T by T. Let me erase this. So this will become, you know, Q by T is equal to I. So V I is equal to here also E I minus I square R. This T and T will get cancelled. So this will become, you can take the I outside on the right side, I into E minus I R. So this I and I will get cancelled. So this V is equal to E minus I R. And this V is called the terminal potential. So what basically this means is you can convert completely this EMF into the potential. Which means suppose if the cell has a rated EMF of E equal to 9 volt. So in order to light a bulb here, see light a bulb here. Suppose there is an energy loss of 2 volt in here, 2 volt. So what basically you get, this is the lost potential. So what basically you guess at, get at the terminal potential is 9 minus 2, that is 7 volt. Clear. So the terminal potential will always be less than the EMF of the cell. This V is what we get up in outside the circuit. Clear. Although this uh, a cell is capable of providing a potential of E and it also depends on, it depends on the factor IR. If the internal resistance is high which means the potential if R is very high that means the terminal potential will be less. Clear. So this is the expression for this is the expression for uh, let me write again here. V is equal to V equal to E minus IR is the relationship between the terminal potential EMF and internal resistance. Here I is the current flowing through the circuit. Clear.